Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed. I am a senior software engineer. In this particular video tutorial, I will be talking about the conditional split transformation. The agenda of today's video tutorial is what is conditional split transformation and how to use the conditional split transformation in an SSIS package. So, conditional split transformation is an SSIS component that can actually route data rows to different outputs based on the content of the data. The implementation of this transformation is very similar to the case decision structure in other programming languages. For example, we can route our data to a specific output if a particular condition is met. And if another condition is met, then we can route our data to different output. In this video tutorial, I will be loading data from a CSV file. So like before moving ahead, let me show you the CSV file so that you have some idea about the source data. So this is my source file that I'm going to load in this particular video tutorial. It is located inside the C files folder. So it has data like ID, first name, last name, gender and company name. So I will be routing the data based on the gender column. So gender column has two possible values, either female or male. So if the data is male then it should be redirected to the males underscore output table however if the data inside the gender is female then it should be redirected to another sql server table so now let's go back to the slide so the input to the conditional split transformation will be a csv file as you have just seen and inside the conditional split transformation we will actually write the code to route data to different outputs based on the values in the gender column so male data will be routed and inserted to males underscore data table that we will create while designing the ssis package and then female data should be routed and inserted to females underscore data table that we are also going to create while designing the ssis package and you know this male and female data will come from the gender column so without wasting the time let's start the demo this is my business intelligent development studio 2014 and as we are going to deal with the data so let's drag and drop the data flow task from the ssis toolbox so click this particular icon so ssis toolbox should be opened and now let's drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and double click data flow task to configure it and as we are going to read data from a csv file so let's drag and drop the flat file source into the data flow task now double click flat file source to configure it click new to create a new flat file connection manager browse the file that you want to load our file name is test data underscore one dot csv open the file preview the data inside the file so we have a gender column which has values like male and female click ok ok so now let's drag and drop the conditional split transformation into the data flow task and now connect the output of the flat file source with the input of the conditional split transformation double click conditional split transformation to configure it expand the columns and now let's drag and drop the gender column into the condition so our first condition will be if gender is equal to male so we need to type the value inside the double quotes so if gender is, is equal to male so our output will be male so now let's copy and paste it into another row so the second condition will be if gender will be female then the output name will be female okay so inside that conditional split transformation we are checking if gender will be male then the output will go is with the name as male and if the gender will be female then the output name will be female and all data with the gender female will go with the this particular output click ok so now we have configured the conditional split transformation and now to write the data to sql server table let's just drag and drop the oledb destination now let's connect the output of the conditional split transformation with the input of the oledb destination from the output choose the male because in this particular case we will be writing the male data to the sql server table click ok and now let's configure the oledb destination click new to create a new connection so right now we don't have any connections here so click new our server name is developer and our database name is testing okay click ok so from data access mode change from table of view to table of view fast load because it enables the bulk insert thing click new and now let's create the table name the table as males data click ok and now navigate to mappings you can see that columns from input have been mapped with the destination columns click ok 
so we have created this mail mails underscore data table and the mail data will go inside this particular table now let's create another table for the female data and then connect the output of the conditional split with the input of the oldb destination from the output choose the female click ok so females data will move from conditional split to this particular oldb destination double click oldb destination one to configure it and you know inside the, so we will be using the same connection developer developer dot testing our sql server name is developer and the database name is testing so we will be creating the second table females underscore data in the same database as well so click new to create the new sql server table and our sql server table name will be females underscore data click ok and navigate to mapping so columns input columns have been mapped with the destination columns click ok and now you can go back to the sql server management studio and then refresh the table so you should see both the tables here so males data and females data both tables are there so you can just simply check the data inside those tables so right now both tables have empty because they doesn't have any data now let's execute the SSIS package so that it can load data from a CSV file and then using the conditional split transformation it can load data to the to either the males underscore data table or either to the females underscore data table based on the values in the gender column. So it has moved 12 records to the male table and it has moved 18 records to the female underscore data table. So let's go back to the SQL Server Management Story and if you'll re-execute the query so now you can see under the female data we have 18 records and under the male data it should have 12 records so this is how we can use the conditional split transformation to root data based on a particular column thanks guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button and do subscribe to our channel to see more videos on ssis and other related technologies thank you so much